in, in the opera master's program, it's a small program. The last class there was, I think, 12 singers. And in this class, my class, there are seven of us. Um, we spend like basically all day together, <laughs> every day during the week, um, between rehearsal and classes and different things. And like, it's just, it's ama it's, it's the bomb.com. It's amazing. Like, um, you know, just how, how, how lovely everyone is. And of course, like, it's busy. It's really, really busy. You have a lot of work to do, but you have good people by your side doing it with you. And yeah, a lot, I mean, it's like, I don't know, it takes a village to raise an opera singer. There's so many different people that are, that are involved and contributing. The opera program is, is pretty intensive. I think it might be one of the more time intensive programs at the school. Um, the semester is split into two parts. The first half is called the basic weeks and the second half is just rehearsing for the show. So the first half we spend um, on language and phonetics, um, aria workshop. We have a lot more choice when it comes to like independent classes you can take. Um, but then after six weeks, it's like, boom, you're in rehearsal like all day, every day, which is great. I mean, that's what you want. Mental health is important at the Sibelius Academy. Uh, there's you know, lots of resources when it comes to, like, study psychology and um, just, I mean, also, like, getting access to healthcare. As an American, this is very important to me, a 26-year-old American. Um, um, also, just, like, the resources, the facilities and the buildings are, like, world-class, top-notch, uh, media labs, you know, if you need to make recordings for auditions or for competitions or anything, like, everything is really at your fingertips. There's... And if you need something that they don't have, you can ask, and they might get it for you. So that's also really great. <laughs> I, I've felt really, really supported um, by everyone that I've met. Like the first meeting that we had with the faculty here, they were like, if you need a friend, if you need furniture, if you need like anything, here's my cell phone number. Like they were really, really like, you know, earnestly and sincerely willing to like offer themselves for help. You know, the stereotype is a little bit true about like Finnish people talking less and being quiet, but it's not because they're not friendly. It's not because they're mean. It's just, it's just a cultural difference. And yeah, I really like Finnish people. I feel, I feel really at home here.